Hello everybody, this is Birdfree, and today we're doing another interview, and today I'm going to be doing an interview with Garrett Williamson, or, I don't know, how to, what, Garrett Studios, I don't know. Mm -hmm, yeah, Garrett Studios, yes, right. that's, that's the other way to say it. Alright, say hi. Hey there, everybody. Alright, I'm just going to ask you a few questions and we'll be done. Alright. How'd you come up with the name GC Waves? GC Waves. Okay, um, so pretty much Chase and I, since it's um, a, a duo with uh, me and Chase Weimer, uh, we came up with the name uh, a few years ago before we started the YouTube channel. Basically, we decided we wanted to be a duo. We wanted to start making a lot of videos together on YouTube, and we wanted something um, that explained us and then also kind of sounded cool at the same exact time. Of course, now we kind of think it's a silly name. Um, but pretty much GC, most people get confused. They think GC means uh, GameCube. Um, but it means, it, it obviously means Garrett Chase Waves, which of course, if you were to I knew unabbreviate it, it uh, unabbreviate it, it's just, it sounds silly. Garrett Chase Waves is ridiculous. But yeah, GC Waves just stands for Garrett Chase. And the Waves part was simply just because we were trying to think of something that sounded cool. We kind of thought like waves, like ocean waves, but then combining that with the thought of like sound waves. And we were just like, let's just, let's just say waves. So pretty much, I think this was back in 2011. That's basically how it came together. Who inspired you to do YouTube? Hmm, okay, um, well, I first got into YouTube after Chase had introduced me kind of to, well, I kind of, I was introduced to YouTube before he was, but he kind of got me into YouTubing, because uh, I think he kind of started before I did, um, but if I were to say who inspired me, um, I remember there was a... Uh, Chase had show, showed me um, this channel back. They were about to uh, close down. They were about to stop making videos, which was very unfortunate. But, but right before they stopped, I saw a few of their shorts. That, uh, they were called Balloon Shop. Um, and uh, I, I, at first, I didn't really like them, but they grew on me pretty quickly. And they were a huge inspiration to my wanting to begin uh, YouTube. Uh, I know Julian Smith was another big inspiration back in the day. Um, heck, even other people completely unrelated to that to that type of stuff, like Tobuscus. Um, I mean, yeah, there were there were plenty of different YouTubers, but I think Julian Smith and Owen Rogers probably stood out the most of um, of any YouTuber. Your skits are very well done. I have to say that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Chase and I, it's its definitely come with practice, because we look back at our old our old stuff, and we're like, why is this still on YouTube? <laughs> the only reason we keep it up on YouTube is just for historical purposes and just for the fun of it. Um, we don't really like any of that stuff anymore. Um, we more like to laugh at it, but, you know, that just that comes with experience. We learn, we make better stuff over time. Yeah, I, um, I was about to make a reference to your video saying, it's been 300 years. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, I like yeah, I like how Chase um said that it's been three hundred years since we did G since we yeah. did a G C Waves video. Yeah, that's Chase and his um and his genius. <laughs> What's Chase? His genius one liners. <laughs> what I really loved, um also I really love Swedish crayons melting in a microwave. Ta -ta -ta. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that the best was title. that was that was almost entirely, see that's something else, um, is that <laughs> most videos we do, um, usually one of us, sometimes it's kind of an equal 50% 50, 50 collaborative effort, but I think, um, most of the time what happens is one of us is a bit more dominant in, uh, in the creating of the concept, uh, than the other. I think Swedish Crayons was much more of Chase's idea than it was mine um and i just added to it um the same would go for like other videos we did like superfood bros uh the gamers paradise superfood bros video and um and then like uh my short the, the short we did i'm ken was more of my thing 
so yeah, some it just we almost switch off. We don't intentionally switch off, but it's just we kind of switch back and forth. Um, so, so um, Chase, sometimes Chase does it, like gets the ideas. Yeah, Chase. Chase often will be the one that pretty much comes up with the concept a lot of the time, and I'll work off of that. Um, whereas other times, I will come up with the concept, and he'll work off of that. Um, I would say there are there are occasional times where we both come up with the concept, pretty much together. Um, I think uh, the uh, the Christmas special we just did, the chestnuts open on a roasting fire. I think that one would be more of, uh, would fall under that category of, uh, kind of coming up with the concept together, but I think most of the time, um, one of us comes up with a concept, the other one builds off of it, uh, and vice versa, so, um, yeah, and it works out really great, we, we, we love what we do, and it's, it's, I think I think personally I think the funniest stuff I've ever done has been with Chase. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I. You mean Swedish cran? No, no. You mean chestnuts open on a roasted fr? <laughs> fr, fr, yeah, right. The way I said it in the uh, the uh, awards the video. Awards video. Right, yeah. I loved how you kept saying like chestnuts open on a roasted fr how come your every of your videos you don't you sound like very dull like you don't care about anything um <laughs> i just i uh i realized over time especially after working on rttta i kind of realized um that uh it was funnier uh, when I pretty much was apathetic about anything where I really just didn't care. Um, or at least it looked like that. Like, maybe more in-depth I did, but on the on the outside, it really just looked like I, I didn't give a flip. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that was, um, I think that was kind of more of a revelation I had with, uh, w when working on RTTTA. Chase is also extremely good at the very dry, dead humor, um, but I think he and I kind of switch back and forth depending on the situation and the story. Uh, who gets the more dead part and who gets the more exaggerated part? Because we both feel like some of our funniest comedy comes out when there's that contrast between between the exaggerative character and the more dull and dead character, if you will. Yeah. So. What is your favorite game? Oh, jeez. Um, Just like I asked Josiah. <laughs> often. I'm sorry? Just like I asked Josiah. He had the same reaction saying, oh my god. Yeah, there's so, there's so many, there's so many good games. There's plenty of bad ones, but there's also plenty of great ones. Um, I would, I would probably have to say my answer to that question for years has been Super Mario 64 um, but sometimes I like to um, argue that I like um, stuff like Twilight Princess more um, but I really can't I, I really can't say that anything beats Super Mario 64 for me in fact Twilight Princess probably wouldn't even take number two um, but um uh, yeah, I'm definitely more of a Nintendo guy. I would say Super Mario 64 is my favorite, um, but I'm also very much a uh, retro Sega dude, so there's plenty of old Sonic games that are easily in my top ten. I don't have an actual list of my top ten favorites, but my assumption would be there's at least one or two retro Sonic games in there, as well as probably Zelda... I love Metroid, but yeah, pretty much overall, above all of them, Super Mario 64, I'm, I'm going to have to stick with that's probably my favorite game of all time. Nice, I agree. The only experience I had was that was the DS version. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a great, that was a great little port. That was a great little uh, remake. I was going to say port, but it's really a remake. Um, and that was actually, that was, that was not a horribly done remake of the game, so... 
Yeah. I I really disagree with you. I'm not really much a Sega person, though. Yeah. I'm more of a Nintendo. That's, I'm just like a nerd for funny? it. But I do yeah. love some Sega games, like Sonic is such an all-time Alter classic. Alter Be Alter Beast. Altered Beast. Yeah. Um, Streets of Rage. Yeah, yeah. And all that other stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I enjoy those. I definitely, I love those. There's there's a lot of old Genesis stuff that I really um, enjoy. Um, and I mean, a lot of that is because I grew up with it. But um, And that could go the same for... Uh, for Super Mario 64, but I, it still feels like nostalgia or not, I feel like, you know, playing those games back and being a, a bit more skeptical with them, I, st I still feel like they stand as some of the best games I've ever played. What are some videos you are planning to make? Mm, well, uh, on GC Waves, obviously we uh, are still doing RTTTA. Well, maybe not obviously. It seems like it's been a while since um, the last one, but we definitely still are doing RTTTA. Still going to be doing more shorts for sure. That's what we originally started doing on YouTube with the shorts, and it's still probably my favorite thing to do on YouTube. Um, but I also love, um, I, there, I definitely enjoy doing that Not Scary series. Um, I wouldn't, by no means is it one of my favorites. Um, but, um, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely something I enjoy doing. Um, and I would, I, I will be doing more Not Scary videos, um, I've also thought about on my personal channel doing um, overdub, like a bridge series of games. Um, my only the and the re part of the reason that I want to do that is because I feel like everything I've watched, there's only been a couple of uh, what they call what they dub as a bridge series of games or TV shows that I actually enjoy and think are funny. And so part of me wants to, like, go and do my own take on it the way I would find it funny. Um, and then as for other stuff for my personal channel, for Gerard Studios, or Garrett Williamson, whatever you want to call it, I'm not totally positive uh, yet, but I do have some ideas. Um, and then when it comes to my music, uh, I'll still be, you know, working on working on music, just making what I love making and working on music for video games. Nice. So, yeah. I'm still begging you to make that Milo Mart remix on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, a lot of people want it. I just didn't, I just don't like it very much. Like, I just don't want to gain the reputation of, oh, look, it's the guy that did the remix of that stupid Zelda song. Um, you know, uh, it's not, it, it's, I've made far stupider things than that, but that's definitely up there with the most stupid things I've ever thrown together in five minutes. <laughs> All right. That'll be it for this interview. I hope you guys enjoyed, and... And... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, one last question. I just forgot to ask this. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going way too long now. Um, what is your favorite console? Just go quick right now. Um, I'm gonna say Nintendo 64. Okay, there you go. Y'all know now. <laughs> Alright, is, is there anything you want to say for the people watching? Uh, uh, you know, I don't have anything brilliant or wonderful to say, but I do want to say as for, like, uh, the Not Scary stuff, which has led more traffic toward GC Waves and stuff, I just want to thank everybody for sharing that and really... Uh, actually liking that enough for it to become a big deal and for me, you know, just to be able to do what I do and for there to be an audience that enjoys it, so. Yeah. And everybody watching this that's a fan of Garrett, he's making a new RTTA video and the only hit he gave me was water. And it's a game review. <laughs> so yeah, probably you'll figure that Dolphin out. Dolphin Tail! Yep. Yep. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later and check out <clears throat> Garrett's video, it's in the description, no, um, channel, it's in the description, and I'll see you guys later, goodbye.